Take your computer printout and trim away all the white from around the perimeter. Line up the edge of the image with the edge of the trimmer. Then trim off all four sides. Of course, if you don't feel comfortable using the trimmer, you're always welcome to use a scissors. Remember to always put the trimming bar in the down position when you finish using the trimmer. Pin an 18 by 24 inch piece of paper on the wall in the projection room in the same orientation that your computer printout is in. Place the computer printout face down on the bed of the projector. Make sure to leave enough space or an equal amount of space all the way around the printout. Then turn the projector on. When projecting the image to the paper on the wall, you need to keep the projector at a 90 degree angle. If you don't keep the projector at a 90 degree angle, for example, here you see it's tilted downward, then what will happen is this edge here gets projected at a shorter distance to the wall than the bottom edge does, thus resulting in a skewed image that looks like this. Likewise, it needs to be at a 90 degree angle both left and right from the top view. If you don't keep it at a 90 degree angle in this direction, then the left edge, which is this edge here, gets projected at a shorter distance to the wall than the right edge does. And now your image will be skewed in this direction. So rather than tilting the projector, you can adjust its height uh, as we're showing you here. Adjusting the lens in or out can help to bring the image into focus. Be careful not to remove the lens completely. You can also adjust the size of the image by moving the projector either away from the wall or closer towards it. If you move it away from the wall, the image will get larger. If you move the projector closer to the wall, the image will get smaller. You'll need to combine the methods of raising and lowering the projector moving it closer or further away from the wall, and adjusting the lens in order to get it adjusted correctly. Here we're showing you again how not keeping the projector 90 degrees to the wall can skew the image. This is a skewed image from left to right. Here we're going to show you how the image gets skewed from uh, top to bottom by moving the projector in a downward position. Once the image is correctly projected onto the paper, then all you do is trace around the gray, the black, and the white areas. When finished tracing, take your drawing back to your table and compare it to the printout and make adjustments as needed.